So I'm gonna share with you guys today my top three grip breaks when people grab my collar. These are done primarily right on right or same sided athletes. Stay tuned and make sure you wait till the end because I'm gonna show you a grip break that I absolutely hated as an athlete. So let's get into grip break number one, okay? Probably the most common, but I have a couple little tips to help you guys get it to work. So my partner gets a good strong post on my shoulder and I just feel like I can't, you just can't get at it, right? Like you just wanna grab them, you just wanna bring them in. So one of the things I like to do is I put my thumb inside the gi. It's illegal, but never been called for it. Eh. And then I pull it in nice and tight. It's only there for a second, right? Like just enough to get that good solid grip. And then I wanna pull that gi so I'm at the end of his ribs. Now what I wanna do is take my opposite leg and I wanna step back. This way I can bow with my back and my hip. Now I can jam, oh, keep that grip, keep it, keep it. I can jam that grip as best I can so I can get the gi to kind of lock in here on his forearm, okay? And the higher up I can get it to lock, the more power I have. Once I bow and I feel what I'm gonna do is use my hand as a stop and I'm gonna use my back and my legs to break the grip by looking up to tighten the gi here and then backing up. That way I have good control and now I can come in and I can establish my grip on my partner's gi. So when he takes that grip, even if I'm posted on his chest and he's posted on mine, when, once I bow and I lock it, it's about looking up to pull his hand while I have the backstop. So here, down, 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 and out, out, pin it down to the ground, and then I make that adjustment if that's what I'm looking to do, okay? So down and back up. That's gonna be grip break number one. Grip break number two is gonna be a little bit more complicated, but more effective than grip break number one. And it's when he's got a good, strong grip. And I like to be able to control this sleeve. And sometimes it's just, he's got too much power to get that hand off the key. So what we're gonna practice is we're gonna practice our shoulder punch, okay? Where I use my shoulder to roll forward, and then I push him using his own grip and my shoulder, okay? We roll back and we punch them with it. And we wanna make sure I'm pushing with my legs as I'm doing this. So you need to act like I'm trying to get at him and he's just, he's not letting me. That way when I'm leaning on him, when I punch, I can get some motion with just my body, okay? That's the most important thing is I haven't used my hand yet. So that when I'm getting that feedback from him because I'm pushing and I'm running, I'm trying to get him to move, when I push him, now, when I back up, he stay, stay there, stay there. When I back up, I can get that hand off my chest because there's gonna be tension, okay? So when I'm here and I'm pushing, boom, there. And you can see that the gi comes off my chest because I lean back. Now, I can go grab his hand and I can roll it. Just twist it, okay? I'm not twisting it right here. I'm trying to put where his watch would be on my opposite shoulder. So that my forearm is coming across his arm, almost like an arm bar, almost. Never been called for it though. So, here we go. I'm in here, I'm pressing him. I'm trying to get there, I push, boom. And I pinch it together, it comes off, my elbow stays down. I bring it down between the body and I establish my good kumikata grip. So that's gonna be grip break number two. So let's take a look at grip break number three. My least favorite of all, I used to hate it when people did it to me in training even in competition, used to drive me mad. That's why I wanna share it with you, just so you can drive some people mad. So, my partner has a good grip break and you just, you just can't get him. The guy's frustrating you, right? Like he's like, ah, oh, you just can't, you just can't get there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to come underneath so that you can't get there. I just can't, he's stalling me out. Take a grip right on the underneath part of his hand, finger inside the gi, and what we're gonna do with our elbow is we're gonna loop it and then twist my watch to his watch, and I'm gonna hit his arm, boom, and I throw it off, just like that. Okay, so you're trying, you're trying to get at him, you just can't get there, come back, grab it, and now look at my shoulders move, look at my shoulders move, and you throw it right off, just to take it off. Okay, so even if I have a grip on the end of my partner's sleeve here, when I want this off, I turn my shoulders, throw it, and then I establish a second grip. I 
hate it. I actually won't do this to people because I dislike it so much. Mostly because I don't want people to do it to me. So I just don't do it to them. But it does work. Um, I ran into Japanese players who use it with a lot of success. Um, it's just not for me. I prefer the first two, which is why I threw this one here at the end. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. So that's gonna be my top three collar grip breaks for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd really love to know what you guys think about the grip break number three. I know I personally don't like it, but if you love it, let me know. I'd love to see a video of you guys doing this, you know, even in your own Randori sessions. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. We try to release a video at least five times a week. And if you're new here to the channel, we release a video five times a week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications so that you can get better faster.